I've got no cooling coil on this um, IC unit, um, twin fan, three horsepower. Um, we've got power at the pressure switch. I'm just looking around it, just for any obvious signs or something that's not right. Um, I guess it'll show up. There's a load of. Oh, you can see the difference where the oil has come. That is covered in oil, so I'm going to take the cover off and have a look in the terminal box. Right, we've got the screws out, the uh, lid. I've done my torch. Uh, Right, looks very oily in there. It's a rebuild. So that might or it might might not have something to do with Is it sharp? Yeah, you can see the oil down the side there. Yeah, you can see it's all oily down the side of the box. So that might, I was wondering whether one of the pins had come out, but I think it's more likely going to be the gasket under the terminal block. Right, let's see what else we can find. Right, well. Run up okay, um, and then went off on the low pressure switch. Now that sunlight's warm, but so that's obviously working. What I've spotted is um, right on the capillary for the expansion valve. I reckon that's worn through. Not there, it's got a few other marks on it too. It's just been vibrating as it's been running. I reckon. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Don't sharp too well, but I reckon what's happened is that's worn through. Let the gas out of there and the valve shut. That's why it's not running. If you get one of these leak, um, it makes the valve shut right down because there's no pressure in there. But you've still got liquid in the pipework that you need to get out before you change the valve. If you cut the, um, see I've cut that off on this one, you get a gauge line rubber, hold it over there. Pressurise it with a bit of nitrogen um, and the PSI in there, I think. And that will um, open the valve up. It's doing the same thing as if it was working normally. Um, and that will let the gas through while you pump it down. Right, got that, got the old flares cut off, pipe cleaned up. Um, that's the old valve. The oil is just there, and that should, that's solid, there's no movement, there should be a couple of millimetres of spring pressure there, put that in the new one, that, that movement there is due to the pressure in the bellows and the little pipe, so when you get one of these it's leaked out of that, that's one of the symptoms. If you suspect it, you can take them apart and still check. Without that movement, there's no, nothing to push the little pin in the orifice to let the um, figure it through. That little 
dot in the centre is an actual pin inside the valve. Pushes out, it's like a little pin, pushes it up and back and forth, and that's how it meters the amount of refrigerant in. So you get a bigger office, it's just got a bigger pin and a bigger hole. And what's this one? It's a number. This is number three, which is. Uh, I thought it was way too small, but probably what number five in there or something really. That's a new valve on there. Put some cable ties down, so it won't do the same thing again. 